Hi everybody, today I'm going to show you all the features of this new MacBook Pro 13 inch that I just received. This is the 2.5 GHz i5 processor laptop uh, from Apple and uh, this is the non-retina display one, okay? But I'm going to show you how you supercharge this laptop as well as show you the features. Uh, one of the things you're going to be able to do to supercharge it is I have 16 gigs of RAM right here and I also have an SSD drive right here. Between these two things, you will be able to supercharge this laptop to work a lot faster than it actually does out of the box. Um, traditionally, it comes with a 5400 RPM hard drive, which is really slow, and it has 4 gigs of RAM. So we want to make sure we upgrade those two things, which will make a big difference on the laptop's performance. I will time it to show you the difference between the stock uh, um, configuration, how long it takes to boot, and I'm going to also time it after we do the upgrade and show you how to do the upgrade. Thank you for watching. As always, I appreciate it. Alright, so here I have the MacBook Pro. I'm going to open it up. And voila, there is the MacBook Pro. So I'm going to take it out. It has a little thing you can pull here. And to open it, uh, you just, on the bottom, rip it. And you can take out the laptop out of it plastic wrapper that it has. I usually keep this wrapper safe because if I do want to sell the laptop eventually, I can sell a MacBook Pro and it has all the original stuff that it came with. So I do save that. Let me put this on the side real quick to show you what else comes with the device. You have the power cables that come with it. This is actually um, the power cable right here that you can plug to the uh, block. You can go ahead and um, plug this in here. You can go ahead and plug this in here and it actually creates an extension cord. So it'll be a straight connection to, to power the uh, device so it gives you even longer range. This part right here, it's uh, MagSafe, it's a magnetic part. To charge and this goes on the laptop itself. Put this back in here. And in here you have the uh, small manual and uh, stickers, Apple stickers that come with the device. It also has a little cleaning cloth to clean the um, screen. So that's basically what comes in the box. There's nothing else under here. This is just uh, plastic. So let's put this aside and let me show you the MacBook and its features. Alrighty, so here I have the MacBook Pro and I'm going to show you all the features and the ports and stuff that it has and then we'll dive into the upgrade for the MacBook. Alrighty, to the left of the MacBook Pro we have the power connection right here, an Ethernet port, we have a FireWire port, a single Thunderbolt port right here, a USB, two ports, USB 3.0, they're backwards compatible to 2.0, and an SD card slot. You also have here a headphone input output um, jack. And a little bit over here on the side, you have um, an indicator. You press this little button and it indicates how much battery you have left, which is really good. It's a nice little add-on right there. To the right of the MacBook Pro, we only have one simple thing, the CD-ROM SuperDrive. And that, that's it, there's nothing else on this side of the device. When you open the MacBook Pro, it has a little slot here in the front, you just uh, lift that up and turn it up. And it has a little protective uh, uh, cover here, just take that off and you're good to go. I'm going to go ahead and turn it on and I'm going to time how long it takes to power up so that we can compare the difference once we upgrade it to the SSD drive. By the way, the, one of the nice things about this MacBook Pro is that the keyboard is has a backlit keyboard, so it looks really nice. Alrighty, so here I have the laptop ready to boot with the standard configuration that it comes with out of the box. I'm gonna use the iPhone right there with the stopwatch to run it and get an idea of roughly how long does it take to boot up. So that way we have an idea. This is going to be with the standard configuration and I will be doing the same thing once we upgrade the memory and the SSD drive. And so here we go.
Alrighty, so about 33 seconds to boot, to get into uh, the Mac. Remember that um, this particular configuration is a clean configuration. It doesn't have any applications running or any other things added to it. So uh, once you add other applications to it, it will slow down a little more uh, at the boot up time. So um, we're gonna test this now with the SSD the same way, a clean installation without anything on it. All right, to upgrade the Mac, I'm gonna use the lining that I had inside, this little uh, protective lining that I had under the uh, keyboard to actually turn it on its on this other side and so it won't get scratched. So we're going to turn this upside down here. This is a really easy um, device to scratch um, being that it's aluminum so any, uh, any rough surface can damage it. One thing you're going to need once you're ready is a small Phillips screwdriver. It has to be a fine, small one for electronic devices and stuff so that it, you can take out these little screws. So I'm gonna go ahead and get started. All right, so once that's ready, this will come off. All you have to do is grab here by the back of the laptop and lift it and it will come off. And you have access now to everything here. You have access to the battery, the hard drive, and the RAM. In this case, we're gonna first switch out the RAM, which is the easiest part to do. Go ahead and pop this open here, take up this memory, and the other one right below that. Okay, so I got the memory out. Try to remember the way you took them out. In this case, the memory goes with the small side of the slot this way. Okay, so try to remember that. So we're gonna take this out and now I have here the 16 gigs of memory from Crucial. And um, I recommend Crucial for the memory because you know it always works for me and it works really good. I'm going to take out the memory here. There we go. Alright, so I'm going to pop in the memory, same configuration as before. Do the bottom one first. And then pop in the other one. I have 16 gigs of RAM right there. I'm going to save the uh, old memory, the 4 gigs, just in case. I ever need them. Now for the hard drive, which is right here. Alrighty, to upgrade the hard drive, it's a real simple process. All you need to do is remove this little bracket right here. It has two screws, and they're Phillips screws. You know, I, I failed to mention that you are going to need a small Torx screwdriver. I think, believe it's an eight screw uh, Torx because the hard drive has these little pins that we need to remove from them and they have Torx screws. So I'll show you in a second. So here's a little bracket. I'm going to put this on the side. And the, the hard drive has a little um, tab right here, like a plastic tab. Just pull this out and the hard drive comes right out. Don't pull it because there's a cable attached at the bottom and it has a SATA connection right here. So you just pull this out and now the hard drive is free. And I'm going to go ahead and take this off to put it onto the uh, uh, SSD drive. I have the SSD drive right here. I'm gonna go ahead and uh, put that in there. I'm gonna go ahead and put the uh, tab on it so that if I have to take it out, I can use this again. Press it firmly and it should be good. Okay, I'm gonna put this on the side for now. And let me explain to you what you need. You're going to need a small Torx screwdriver to help you take out these little pins on the drive. Because what holds the drive in place are these pins right here on both on all four corners, and they um, slide into this place right here, and then fall onto the side. And that bracket holds that in place. So we need to take these out and put them on the SSD drive. With the Torx screwdriver, you could just uh, go ahead and take this out. Go 
and then you need to put them into the uh, other um, into the other drive. One of the benefits of replacing this drive is that you are going to gain an incredible amount of speed because this drive, first of all, it's a 5400 RPM drive. There you go. It's a 5400 RPM drive. So this is definitely really slow compared to a 7200 RPM drive or if you were actually um, putting uh, an SSD drive. I'm going to go ahead and put the pins now on the SSD drive. So you're going to put them on all four corners. I chose this MacBook over the um, the Retina the Retina display one because I wanted to have the Ethernet on board and I wanted to be able to do this upgrade, which you cannot do with the Retina display one. The Retina display MacBook Pro does not allow you to upgrade the memory like this or the hard drive. It's all embedded. All right, so I finished putting all my pins together, so it's good to go. And uh, the connection side of the uh, drive should go this way. So I'm going to go ahead and plug this back in here. And it pops right in place. And then it has this little holes where the drive will fall into. And then it will slide into the other one right there. Now you go ahead and put your bracket back. And now we basically upgraded the hard drive and the memory right here. So we have 16 gigs of RAM and this is a 250 gig uh, solid state drive. So basically this is an upgrade that is easy to do. It looks a little complicated at first if you're not familiar with this stuff, but it's actually really easy. If you follow step by step, you can just open this thing and replace it. And it's not a complicated process. You don't need a ton of tools or additional knowledge to do this. The other part now is that I'm going to have to reprogram the machine because this is the new drive. So I have to install uh, Mac OS uh, Mountain Lion again. So I'm going to go ahead and do that and we'll test again the boot up time and see what was the improvement. All right, I'm ready to go ahead and put the cover back on. So I'm going to go ahead and set it back on here and put all the screws in place. Remember that these right here, these three, are the larger screws. I'm going to go ahead and put those first to get them out of the way. I'm ready to go. I'm going to go ahead and install the operating system on the new machine and try it out. I'll be back in a minute. All right, guys, so I'm ready to go. I already upgraded the hard drive with the SSD drive and I also upgraded the RAM so we have 16 gigs on board now and I already finished installing the uh, Mountain Lion operating system so we're good to go and uh, originally we had 33 seconds on here so I'm gonna go ahead and test it out again so we're gonna reset this real quick this is what we, had, we got with the original um, installation with the uh, how it came out of the box uh, now it's just the same way. It's just OS 10 installed on there. There's no other uh, software or anything installed. So we're going to try that out. Let me reset this real quick. And we're going to turn this on and start it. Remember, this is a rough estimate, so I just want to try it out. Let's see how long does it take for it to boot up. Wow. That's about 15 seconds, 16 seconds. So it's a huge difference. It's half the time, pretty much, from what we were getting. That is really good. I'm gonna test it out one more time. So let me shut this off. And we're gonna do another test. Let's see uh, how it comes up. Because I know I did press that button a little late. So let me uh, try this again. So it's off now. 
I'm gonna go ahead and try one more time. So here we go. Press and start. There we go. Fifteen point seven. There you go. So about fifteen to sixteen seconds to uh, boot up. That is totally uh, different. Um, Thirty-three seconds makes a big difference to fifteen. I can't wait to see how the applications work, but definitely this is a really good upgrade. And uh, I definitely believe that uh, putting the SSD on it and the uh, RAM makes a huge difference on the way the machine performs. Apart from the performance that we got now on the machine by upgrading to an SSD drive and putting that RAM, you know, one of the benefits that the SSD drive does have is the fact that there are no moving parts in the machine, so you could close it up, move it around from room to room, you can put it under your arm. You don't have to worry about a hard drive that's spinning inside and it could get damaged by moving it around while it's on. So that's definitely one of the small things that you don't really notice, but it's obviously a, a great benefit to have the SSD drive because there's no moving parts. One tip I'd like to share with you is, what do you do now with the old drive? It is not an old drive, it's actually a new drive. It's, it came with the machine, right? But what do you do with it now that you upgraded to an SSD drive? Well, my tip to you is you could use this as a time machine backup drive. And all you have to do is get yourself an enclosure, a USB enclosure for the device and connect it to it and you can use it for backups. This is a 500 gig drive that it comes with and that's a 250 gig SSD drive inside the machine now. So you have plenty of room here to back up that laptop. And that's definitely a really good thing to do. Now, uh, on Amazon, I found an enclosure for $17, and it's a USB 3.0 uh, enclosure, so it'll work perfectly with this laptop, and you get the most speed out of it. So definitely, I hope this tip helped you out, and I hope you liked the video. Thank you for watching, as always. I appreciate it. I just wanted to recap the things that I needed to do this upgrade on the MacBook Pro. So the first thing I, I needed was uh, memory. So I got 16 gigs of RAM from Crucial. Dot com and I also got a Samsung drive uh, this is the 840 series and this is a 250 gig SSD drive and this drive uh, connects directly to your SATA connection you can use this on a laptop or a regular PC if you want it uh, and I also got uh, a Torx screw driver right here and a Phillips screwdriver right here and th these uh, the screw Phillips is to open the bottom of your laptop and the Torx is to take out the hard drive part of it so that's definitely all you would need to do this upgrade. Remember to visit aramistech.com where I'll have all the links to the memory and uh, Samsung Drive and also uh, screwdrivers if you need them. Thank you for watching.